رجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الناس السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Today we'll be exposing the false potato and not Christian Again to see the ignorance of these poor people Wallahi لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله أنا يعني I, I feel يعني they يعني I, I notice 100% that they're stupid But another part of my brain يعني we can say 50% says that they're not stupid but they just agree with each other in any way to attack Islam even if it's false even if it's a lie like they're like they're pulled it anyway let us start and see and this prove that Muhammad is not the last messenger because from what from my understanding what I'm reading mm. Warwick, he makes a prophecy yeah. before he does if yeah. you go to the last yeah, 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 my friend look what it says so the false potato is arguing that Waraka ibn Nawfal, who was a Nasrani, a Christian, uh, made a prophecy, right? He made a prophecy that, uh, you know, Prophet Muhammad's people will expel him. And he said, and Waraka said, I wish I would stay till that day when your people would expel you so that I may assist you or make you victorious. How did Waraka know this? Let us continue the video and, and just laugh and watch me how, how I expose him. Uh, you're correct. Khadija then accompanied him to the to her cousin Waraka. So uh, Khadija brings Muhammad to her cousin. So notice here, Khadija brings Prophet Muhammad Sallam to her cousin Waraka bin Nawfal bin Asad bin Abdul Uzza, who during the pre-Islamic period became a Christian and used to write now Rob Christian will say no no he's uh, uh, Nasrani doesn't mean Christian anyway let's just yeah, let's get to the main point okay he used to write the writing with Hebrew letters he would write from the gospel the Bible Yahmar, in Hebrew as much as Allah wished him to write now when we say as much as Allah wished him to write as much as Allah decreed for him to write right yani when we say a person um, uh, you know um, you know a person says Can you do you want to come to my house tomorrow you say if Allah wills inshallah if Allah wills what does that mean if Allah decrees right if Allah decrees I'll come to your house anyway let us continue and see a problem here. Look, 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 look at this dog. Look at this dog. He said that Waraka bin Nawfal's last name is uh, Abdul Uzza. He was he was an idolater. That means he's a he's, he's a slave of, of Al Uzza. Look at Habibi, Waraka bin son of Nawfal. Nawfal is son of Asad. Asad is bin son of Abdul Uzza, Yahmar. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu was called Muhammad bin Abdullah bin Abdul Muttalib. Abdul Muttalib, Muttalib is the idol that he used to worship. Don't mean that the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam worships what Abdul Muttalib worships. But anyway, let us continue on. Yani, look, look, even his Arabic, al -kalb, he doesn't know him and that, a false potato, he agrees with him. During, during the pre-Islamic pre period, now look, look at the deception he wrote. What happened during the pre-Islamic pre period before Islam? He became a what? What does it say there? It's a Christian. That's a false translation. Because the Arabic says "fatanasar," nasara, fatanasar. He became an Asrani. Was Jesus a Nazarite? Was Jesus a Nazarite? He came from where? From Nazareth, wasn't he? Huh? That's what Nasara means. That's what Nasara means. That they come from this specific place, okay, where Jesus came from. Nazareth. Jesus the Nazareth, they call him. In Arabic, the name is, I think, I think they call the city Nasra or something like that. Right? Correct me if I'm wrong. They call it Nasra or something where Jesus came from. 
Anyway, let's continue. E. So, so they, they lie, lie and call, call it a Christian. Christian. That's, That's line number one. one. <laughs> <laughs> Go, Go to the Arabic, Arabic you'll see what, what, I'm, what I'm saying. saying. It doesn't, doesn't say Masihi, Fasara Masihi, 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 Masihi,
who keeps the secrets whom Allah had sent to Moses. Warak continues to say, I wish I were young and could live up to the time when your people would turn you out. So the Prophet Muhammad didn't, wasn't the first one to ask Waraka that um, will they drive me out? No, the Prophet didn't know that. Waraka told him, I wish I was still young until the time when your people drive you out. And then the Prophet says, will they actually, you know, you can see here, Allah's missionary asked, will they actually drive me out? Waraka replied in the affirmative and said, Anyone, meaning man, who came with something similar to what you have, you know, brought, was treated with hostility, and if I should remain alive till the day when your people drive you out, I should assist you. Let's continue. Well, if we go, go to the Arabic, Arabic it says, says what? what? Namus! Namus! So, <laughs> basically, <laughs> what, what Waraka is saying, saying to Muhammad, 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 this is, is the same... same Namus, the law, the mosaic law, or if you want to say it's the Torah, I don't mind. The mosaic law, maybe the 630 mosaic laws, or the Torah, whom Allah has sent to Moses. Do you see how they lie in the translation? Calling Namus, the word Namus, guys, means law, literally. Namus means, Hasbi Allah When Waraka asked, O oh my nephew, meaning Prophet Muhammad Sallam, what have you seen? Did he see the Namus, the little Habibi? Did he see the Torah sent to Moses? Or did he see Jibreel? Right? Allah's mission says, de describe whatever he had seen. He described Jibreel because he saw Jibreel. Waraka said, this is the same one, Namus, meaning Jibreel, who keeps the secrets whom Allah had sent to Moses. Right, Habibi? He didn't see the Namus, he didn't see the law. Okay? He didn't see the Torah. He saw Jibreel in the cave of Hera. Okay, continue. Law. How did it law became an angel? You filthy liars. Shame on you for mistranslating Arabic. Arabic. But, but what, what else, else is it? Why? It doesn't say no Jibreel. No, it says Namus. Let's see if you can find it. Guys, just a sec. And. Look. Look, يعني ورقة بالنوفل, right? Was ابن عمي خديجة, and he was the one who تنصر بالجاهلية, وكان يكتب الكتاب العبراني من العبري, فيكتب من الإنجيل بالعبرانية, he would write بالعبرانية اللغة العبرانية, right? Meaning the the Hebrew. <laughs> Here, the word uh, for Waraka here, Waraka Tanassar, he became an Asrani. You see, Tanassar, Tanassar, not Messihi. Filthy liars. If you scroll down, let's see if I can find that part. Namusu, I'm looking for that. That's right here. Namusu, here. هذا الناموس الذي نزل الله على موسى. الذي نزل الله على موسى. That means that Allah came down to Musa. It's الذي نزل الله على موسى. Alright. And I simply go to Google Translate. Google Translate. Yeah, sucking, 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 Oh, yeah. Yeah. The law! Uh, Habibi, when you go to Google Translate, they don't only translate it according to uh, the law, okay? The law is what the Christians believe. And the most they believe that it means the law. But in other words, it can mean Jibreel. Because he said, oh my nephew, what have you seen? You did not see the law, you saw Jibreel, right? The Prophet was scared of Jibreel, not because he saw the law, okay? And then also, the law. The law! The law! <laughs> so, how, so became, how, how, how did the law become angel? angel? Can, Can you explain, explain that to me, Brother, brother Jacob? Jacob? <laughs> I want to learn. <laughs> that's, 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 that's the biggest, biggest fabrication of. Wow! Do you see how they lie in the translation, the translation bro? bro? Trying, Trying to convince everybody, everybody in the English. English. Brother, Muhammad did have an angel. No! Muhammad never was not visited by an angel. Muhammad was visited by a demon. That's, That's what, what Muhammad, Muhammad said the very, very first time. time. He, he said, I feel as if a, a, a jinn 
is a, 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 a touch me. He said, this is a genuine touch me. But it was Khadija's first wife who convinced him, no, no. This cannot be a gym because uh, uh, else uh, he would watch the striptease. Remember, Khadija's taking, taking over clothes. clothes. She's, She's asking him to sit on her lap. lap. And then and she, she takes, takes her clothes off. off. And then, and then the, the creature, creature go away. And, and the assumption, assumption of Khadija is, hey, because he is too embarrassed to watch, it, must, it, it cannot be a demon. demon. It, it must be an angel. That's, that's how Islam is created. Muhammad said literally in the Islamic books, I was touched by a jinn. That's what he said. I was, was touched by, by a jinn. He confirmed it himself. And, and the, the first, first feeling is always right, right, right brother, brother Jacob? Jacob? Exactly. You go by that, 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 that first, first initial instinct. That's, that's the second that God given. God given. Yeah. Yeah. No. 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 So, so the second, second part of my question, question it, after, after, after it says, um, it was the animals, and, and then we yeah. scroll yeah. down. It so, says, so someone need to call this website, call him this website, and tell him, if you're a Muslim, Tell them, why are you lying to us? You are a filthy liar. You are a filthy lying. You are lying to us. Give us at least a correct translation for the hadith. You filthy liar. Shame on you. Go ahead, bro. Yes, if you if you scroll down like the ending and it says, Allah's messenger asked, and it says, he asked, will they drive me out? Yeah. Warwick replied in the affirmative and said, any man who came with something similar to what you have brought was treated with hostility yeah. and if I would remain alive to the day when you will be turned out, then I would support you strongly. So my point is, uh, um, Muhammad asked him a question about a future yeah. event in his life and yeah. then Warwick prophesied that he would be turned out. Yeah. So isn't that Warwick being a prophet? Yeah. 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 No prophet, prophet between him and Jesus, but Warwick is clearly prophesying yeah. to Muhammad what happened. Yeah. yeah. And remember, remember Warwick is receiving divine revelation. Exactly like... I know Habibi. Yabn uh, al went to Yah. He was not receiving that. He was not receiving that. Warak bin Nawfal was a Christian, an Asrani, who used to write the gospel in Hebrew or in Arabic. What does that mean? What does that mean in Tawiyya? How would he know that the Prophet was expelled? Did Warak, if he wrote the gospel, wouldn't he know the story of your prophets and Moses, how Pharaoh expelled Moses? Huh? Wouldn't he know that? Wouldn't he know every prophet who comes with the same message in the Bible or the Torah? Doesn't Waraka, if he's the one who writes the gospel in Hebrew, doesn't he know that every prophet that came with the message to worship God alone would be treated ill by his people or driven out? What does your even your Jesus say here? Hold up. What does your Jesus in Luke chapter 4 verse 24 say? Jesus says, truly I tell you, he continued, no prophet is accepted in his hometown. Yani Warak would not be a Hamar like you or uh, the other, the false potato. You understand what I mean? He said, no prophet, your Jesus was saying, no prophet. And some of your scholars say Jesus was mentioning himself, right? That he's a prophet by that. And by that he was saying no prophet, meaning no prophet before him was accepted in his hometown. His people reject him. Or they, they might expel him, they might kill him, they might do this, they might do that. Moses was expelled by Pharaoh. When Moses in your Bible said, uh, let, uh, God said to you, O Pharaoh, let my people go so that they may worship me. Pharaoh refused. When Moses killed the Hebrew, uh, oh, sorry, the, uh, the Egyptian slave, didn't Pharaoh come to kill him? Right? He wanted to come and kill him. Pharaoh sent people to go and kill Moses and Moses ran away. He fled to Medgen, right? Didn't he flee there? Yes, he did. How did Waraka know, by the way, guys? Yani Waraka, what does the Quran tell us? That why did why are there Jews in Medina at the time of, before the Prophet or there they moved to Medina, the Israelite Jews, because they knew from their own books, the Torah and the Gospel, that there will come a Prophet there. They moved to Medina. They waited for him there. Because they knew he would emerge from this place there between Mecca and Medina. 
or if you emerge from Mecca, they cannot go to Mecca because Mecca was ruled by the polytheists. So they only took stayed in Medina there, waiting for him. Right? In chapter 2 of the Quran, verse 89, And when there came to them a book, the Quran from Allah, meaning the Jews and Christians, when there came to them a book from Allah, that which confirms which was with them. From Allah confirming that which was with them of the Bible and the Torah, like Waraka bin Nawfal. Although before they used to pray for victory against those who disbelieved, the people, the Jews and the Christians, when they used to go to the Mecca for trade, the pagans would, uh, uh, you know, basically make fun of them and mock them. So they used to pray for victory against the disbelievers, meaning the pagans. They used to say, فَإِذَا خَرَجَ الْمَوْعُودُ فِينَا قَتَلْنَاكُمْ بِهِ قَتْلَعَاد If the appointed one comes to us, we will kill you, O pagans, like the killing of Ad, people of Ad. But then when there came to them that which they recognized, when the Prophet came to them and came with the signs, came with the ayat, the Quran, came with everything, they disbelieved in it, so the curse of Allah will be among the disbelievers. So, so the Jews and the Christians believed in the Prophet Muhammad through their books. Allah says in Surah Al-A'raf, chapter 7, verse 157, those who follow the messenger, the Prophet, who can neither read or write, whom they will find described in the Torah and the Gospel which are with them. Didn't Waraka bin Nawfal recognize it because of his Torah and the Gospel? And didn't he recognize that this will exactly happen, his people uh, expel him? Because every prophet in the bible you know basically most of the prophets in the bible and the torah who called to the to the, to the oneness of god of yahweh right they were what they were expelled from their hometown jesus himself his people tortured him and they didn't want him in, in his town right so yeah uh, another thing to keep in mind in chapter 2 verse 156 الَّذِينَ آتَيْنَاهُمُ الْكِتَابَ يَعْرِفُونَهُ They recognize the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam كَمَا يَعْرِفُونَ أَبْنَاءَهُمْ Like they know their sons. Those to whom we gave the scripture know him, meaning the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, as they know their own sons. But indeed a party of them conceal the truth while they know it. So some party of the disbelievers like Rob Christian and Christian prince, princes, they conceal it. They know it's the truth, but they hide it. They hide it. They don't want people, you know, to know who the Prophet Muhammad is, right? And the Jews used to say uh, to the Arabs, we uh, to the Munafiqun, as for this person who came, he is an Arabic. La minna He was not part of us Jews, so that's why they rejected him. And because you know there was things envy between the Arabs and the Jews. But indeed, a party of them conceal the truth while they know it. Waraka turned out to know the scripture, and he was a true person, sincere, and he knew that the Prophet Muhammad was coming. So when the Prophet described exactly what he saw, Waraka noticed this because of he used to write the gospel in Hebrew and Arabic. So he knew the gospel. He had access to these books. He had access to the books, to the to the holy books before. Didn't he? Right? So yeah, next time make sure you understand perfectly before uh, running your mouth and starting to say things that uh, will expose you. Okay? Um, bear witness. Yeah. Do you bear witness that um, Muhammad is this, this, and that? But how can you bear witness to something and you are blind? Yeah. You can't even see it. So how did War could know that he was actually even talking to Muhammad? What? Yahmar. Yahmar. He probably recognized him from his voice, uh, since he knows his voice, since he's his nephew. Uh, he probably also, um, uh, Khadija, since Khadija told him, this is your, you know, this is Muhammad here, right? He recognized him from his voice. He also recognized him from what the Prophet was saying. He said, this is the Namus, the same thing that came down, or, you know, Jibreel, the same one who came down to other, you know, to Musa, to Moses, Right? This is what this is what he said. So he heard the prophet's testimony, and he realized that this is the prophet that to come. That this also shows that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam doesn't uh, know anything of the uh, holy scriptures like the Bible and the Torah, and that he hasn't uh, heard about it from anyone. 
or knows how to read them or has access to them because he said to Waraka, will they drive me out? you know when Waraka said your people will drive you out the Prophet says will they actually drive me out so the Prophet didn't know since Waraka had access to these books and he knew that every Prophet was driven out like Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu right yeah uh, <laughs> and this guy's talking about blind people look look at your own Bible have you it Genesis chapter 48 verse 10 because Israel's eyesight now in this version in this translation it says Israel meaning Prophet Jacob in other translation it said Jacob which way did he say did he say Israel or did he say Yaqub right <laughs> it's very funny they changed the meanings but anyway but because Israel's meaning Jacob's eyesight had failed him had failed him from old age and he wasn't able to see Joseph brought them meaning his sons close to him and he kissed and embrace them. How did he know that these are jo Joseph's sons? If he was not able to see, if he was old and aging, he was not able to see. And how did he know that he, this is Joseph's son? You probably recognize him from his voice. And when Joseph came and told him that these are my sons, come and kiss them. Of course, according to uh, you, Joseph would have been speaking the truth because he was a pious man in the Bible, right? He saw a divine vision, for example, the suns and the moon and the stars prostrating to him. Right? Yeah. How did, <laughs> how did uh, Israel know that Joseph, you know, uh, said, uh, brought his sons close to him and said, these are my sons. How do you know who, who, that it was Joseph? He recognized him probably from his smell or he probably recognized him from his speech. And when he noticed that it is Joseph and he said, these are my sons, that means he's saying the truth. Why should he doubt them, right? It's typical. What about the Baraka, bro? What do you want? So, so that the, the name, name because, because yeah. when yeah. I go to this house, like, I'm, I'm looking, looking at it right, right now, it right says, now, it says um, yeah. 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 Warsaw Ben, ben No Fool, Ben Asad, Ben Abdul Uzza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you Google it, ask Prophet Google, peace be upon him. You will get the full name, basically. Ibn Abdul Uzza. Yeah, and I put it in the live chat, too. Exactly. Abdul Uzza means slave, meaning slave of Al Uzza. Uzza. So this so means, means the, so this so this means means the Muslims, Muslims, they got, they got the clarification, clarification that, that Muhammad, Muhammad was a was prophet, prophet from a, from a pagan, pagan idol, idol worshiper. Of course. Hmm. Wow. wow. Yeah. yeah. Remember, Remember that even, that even if... So he said that uh, the prophet was a uh, pagan uh, idol worshiper because, because he listened to Waraka who was an idol worshiper. Habibi, his name is Waraka, Ibn Nawfal, son of Nawfal, Ibn, son of Asad, as Ibn, son of Abdul Uzza. These are his fathers. This is not Waraka, Kelb. Okay? Waraka himself turned a Christian. For example, if I count right now Brother Jacob's ancestry all the way to Africa, I'll probably get a Muslim. Does that mean that uh, brother Jacob or sister Jacob is uh, is uh, Muslim because his ancestor is he's the son of this 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 all the way to a person who is uh, a pagan or a Muslim? Doesn't mean that Ahmar. Okay, don't mean that. Uh, 